Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to build a shopping cart in ASP.net. For this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have a basic understanding of databases, programming, specifically C sharp, and a bit of ADA.net. Uh, I'd like to start off by telling you conceptually how this tutorial is going to go, and then in the next tutorials and the ones after. I will be doing the technical side program. The first, what do you need to make, know in order to make a shopping cart is you need three objects. The object which is going in, the shopping item, and then the shopping cart which has a list of the shopping items. Okay. In this tutorial I will be making a DVD shop, so the first object class that I've made is a DVD class. Uh, this is because it simply fits the project. Uh, the next thing is a shopping item and a shopping cart. The DVD class will act as an actual DVD object in the real world. It has attributes which the user and the program would be interested in, such as its name, price, the synopsis, the color, and the method for constructing the DVD. Uh, the constructor actually has an integer parameter passed into it. This integer would be the movie's ID. The integer passed in would then be used to search the database and pull out all the required information of that DVD. Uh, this would then, this is really then used by the shopping item to use instantiate a DVD and then from that DVD use the DVD's attributes to fill in these attributes. The difference here is uh, basically the total price would be a calculation of the quantity times by the cost to fill that and also there's two other methods here. One of course is a constructor and the second is an equals method, which is an override method uh, from the ASP.NET class, which checks if the shopping item is already there, and if it is, it just adds to the quantity. And the third class, of course, that we talk about is the shopping cart. This only has two attributes. The first one is an item's uh, uh, attribute which is basically just a list item of shopping items and the second is an instance which is basically just uh, the shopping cart and to make sure that there's only one in existence. This has four methods. One is add item, uh, set item quantity, remove item, and get subtitle, subtotal. And then finally it has a static read only shopping cart. Okay. This is just an overview of what we're going to be going on and talking about, but it shows you what is required in a shopping cart and how the initial steps of what needs to be built. In the next tutorial, I will begin by making the DVD class. I hope uh, this has been of some interest to you and you continue watching. Thank you.